As a first step, you want to inspect the packaging, do a walk around, and look for any visible signs of damage. You also want to check the shock dot on the front of the package. Next, remove the staples first and slide the straps off the box. After that, you'll see that there's a vapor cover. We're going to remove this vapor cover and set this off to the side. Let's open the cover and we'll need a flathead screwdriver for this. Uh, lift the cover up, remove the two zip ties. There's one in the front of the unit and one in the rear. Close the lid and notice that on the front of the screen, it says to remove the locking bolt for the scale. Now's a good time to do that as the unit's up off the ground. Reach under the unit and look for the locking bolt that's sticking down. Back the wing nut off and then remove the locking bolt from the scale. Once the bolt's removed, we can close the door. And now we're gonna have somebody help us tilt the unit both left and then right. To remove this unit from the pallet, let's back it off towards the back of the skid, lift it up by the handle and set it down on the ground. Let's remove the plastic film from the screen and we're gonna go through and examine the package contents here in the basket of the unit in the back and look for the LP tank bottle adapter so that we have to assemble that adapter so we can do our first bottle fill later. I'm gonna remove the power cord and also inspect the operation manual. Now that we're fully unpackaged, let's plug this unit into the wall. And to do this, we're gonna to want to plug the unit directly in the wall and not use an extension cord. To power the unit, I'm gonna flip the switch located in the rear of the unit and make sure that the power cord's plugged in securely to the back. Here, we're gonna follow the screen prompts and we're gonna run through this out of box process by saving our language selection first. I'm gonna choose English here. At this point, the unit's now asking us to fill the tank. To do this, we're gonna grab a refrigerant tank and we're gonna go through and select OK in this first screen here. And it's gonna prompt us to connect the LP adapter to the bottle. You want to remember as you're doing this that you want to secure the adapter, so use a wrench or a pair of pliers so you don't have any leakage. Connect the LP coupler and open the coupler by turning it clockwise. At this point, we're safe. We can open the tank and we want to invert the cylinder. In this way, we can get the liquid refrigerant to go to the bottom of the tank and we'll fill the tank with liquid refrigerant rather than vapor. Remember that the display is showing total refrigerant. So we're going to see this fill and the amount increment right away. Now two kilograms of this uh, three kilograms will remain in the system. This is to keep the tank wetted and to allow the pickup tube that's located in the tank that's inside the unit to pick up liquid refrigerant when we go to use this. So there'll be approximately one kilogram of usable refrigerant that'll be available for service. Now that our fill is complete, we're gonna flip this tank back over and make a disconnection here of the LP coupler from the tank. The last step is to hit OK and the unit will do a hose drain to complete the refrigerant and put all that refrigerant in the hose back into the internal tank so that we're ready to do our first service. Use this link that appears on the screen to register your product. You'll go to the website and enter in your serial number. That serial number is presented at boot up and when we first booted up the unit, we noticed that there was a serial number that was displayed. It's also located on the back of the unit for convenience. Once you enter your information into the website, you'll get an email with a counter code. You'll wanna enter this counter code into your unit after you receive your email. That way it unlocks your unit and it allows you to continue to use the unit for services. Now that the setup is complete, this MACO AC machine is ready to go. For more information, visit us online.